idea pitch competition was held at Auckland University. We received business idea from our school students online and invited them to the school to compete in the semi-final round. A student presented their idea for five minutes in front of three judges. I saw some students who applied last year apply again this year. All Nightingale said that a person with just one good idea is a thousand times better than a person with no good ideas. However, he said that people who have only one good idea are not as successful as people who constantly come up with better ideas. After the semi-final, we had dinner together. I was able to interview two entrepreneurs who will be serving as judges in the final round. Hi, my name is Larry Gaynor. I'm the founder and CEO of TNG Worldwide. We're a manufacturer of beauty products and personal care products, and we're based in New Hudson, Michigan. I published a book. It's called Take a Chance. It comes out April 9th on Amazon and all major book resellers. And I wrote this book for entrepreneurs. There's 5.4 million businesses started each year. And this book is a guidebook to help them succeed in opening and starting their business. How do you think about the value of idea pitch competition? I really, really think pitch competitions for entrepreneurs is a great idea, especially because what we need in this economy is more small businesses succeed and entrepreneurs is the oil to make it succeed. And pitch competitions, especially a university like Oakland University, gets the students engaged for coming up with new ideas that propel them to succeed after they graduate so they can start a successful business. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Paula Tutman and I'm a multi Emmy winning broadcast journalist as well as an entrepreneur which is why I'm here. I am an innovator of a product called Brawless Bra Instant Cleavage Sculpting Solution. Uh, what do you think about the value of Idea Pitch Competition? I think it's hugely, hugely important. I think it's important to get students into the idea of the ability to create and to understand that their ideas and their talents have value. And so when you have something like a pitch competition where you have someone you know, giving that elevator pitch, making sure that they understand the intricacies and they're getting practice and they're getting the confidence of talking about their ideas and their journey for being an entrepreneur. I just, I, I think it's so incredibly valuable. You can sit in a class and you can read a book and you can hear a lecture, but unless you're doing this yourself, and going through the paces to make to actually make it successful, then I, I think you're not getting everything you can get out of the educational experience. So yeah, I love this. Dr. Janar Townsend gave the opening remark. Afterward, we were able to hear a passionate presentation from students who made it to the final round. They all got the opportunity to express their idea and receive feedback from eminent judges. We usually tend to value our own idea highly. However, receiving honest feedback on your idea from other people's perspectives can help you grow to the next level. In many cases, the initial idea has many flaws, so it needs to be refined through many revisions before it becomes a remarkable business model. After hearing the student presentation, the judges held a meeting to select the winner. Because there were so many great ideas, it took a lot of thought and discussion to choose the winner. Finally, the judges chose the winners and the event came to an end. Three plays went to David who presented the idea of cat cam. Second place went to Megan who presented the idea called Purdy Pop.
the long-awaited first place went to Nicholas, who presented the idea of one shop. The winners took a commemorative photo with the judges. With this, the idea pitch competition, which had been prepared for over three months, came to an end. I hope we can create an even better event next year. Thanks for watching. I wish all the best for your future.